Good morning everyone, Andy Schwab here with your Farm and Ranch News. Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks is looking for approval from the Fish and Wildlife Commission to move forward with a rulemaking process to address state management of grizzly bears. The request comes as the Montana Legislature considers Senate Bill 295, which would further clarify how Montana will manage grizzly bears once they are removed from the Endangered Species Act. That move also comes as Montana Department of Livestock last year paid out over a quarter million dollars to livestock losses from all predation. Now, if the commission decides to move forward, FWP st uh, staff, that is, will develop draft rules and engage in robust public review processes. Well, last week, U.S. Representative Ryan Zinke held a 2023 Farm Bill listening session to discuss what Montana farmers and ranchers need. During the listening session, Zinke discussed a variety of issues directly impacting Montana agriculture as uh, President Biden's recent veto of the Congressional Review Act overturning the Waters of the U.S. rules and the crop insurance along with struggles of young farmers and ranchers and trade. MFBF Executive Vice President Scott Colbeck said they were happy to host the congressman and other other agricultural organizations in Bozeman to present Farm Bureau priorities for the Farm Bill along with showing off their new Farm Bureau Center. And a quick look at the Ag Events calendar. Wyoming FFA is going to be holding their state convention in Cheyenne this week so a big uh, good luck to the Bighorn Basin teams. Well that's all for Ag News but join me in an hour for a look at your Ag Markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana ag producers. Welcome back friends, your Ag News Engine Markets. An updated economic impact study found that livestock auction markets continue to be important for the growth and vitality of rural communities. The study of an average fixed facility livestock auction market revealed that the market provides approximately $2 million in total value added dollars to its local community. Key findings also revealed that the market study provides 17 jobs on average, generating $888,000 in labor income to that community's economy economy as well. Well, cleanup trade on Friday's cash cattle market showed packers were willing to pay the piper, if you will. They were boosted by the seasonal grilling season pretty well starting up and strong gains found in the box beef values. Now, continued tight supplies of cold cows help sellers at the Billings Livestock bring prices anywhere from 88 to 99 cents a pound. Young open stock cows also saw a decent test in the Magic City with average prices of those under two years old coming in at 160. Now, sheep sales have been kind of quiet lately. However, a notable test of coal use was found in Newell sheep yards with their tide range 62 to 65 cents a pound. And May KC Marine closed 33 and a half cents higher on Friday, responding to unconfirmed talks that Russia is considering putting an end to the Black Sea Grain Initiative. That move would help out or pull those winter wheat back into the positive area for that week over week comparison, while the spring wheat did finish just north of the steady mark as well. Well, that's all our ag news and information, but you can find more at northernag.net. From the Northern Ag Network, I'm Andy Schwab.